Okay, next we're going to show you how to create an instant customer proposal based on your image editor project. Now I have a project open here and we've, we've placed several plants and mulch and grass in here and uh, if you remember from a previous video on this tree here what we did is we had right clicked on this and went to select size and we had told it to use a a certain uh, size here so it will send that information over to the quote now th some things like the the uh, flowers uh, those are going to come in as each and we don't really need to select a size on that however on the shrubs here when I go to select size you'll see there's several sizes to choose from here the five gallon is the one that we have checked so it will send that over to the quote okay so let's go ahead and create this quote and if we go to the EasyScape toolbar you'll see that there's a instant proposal button located here you'll also find that under tools and create instant customer proposal here towards the top okay so I'll click on the button on the EasyScape toolbar the first thing it's going to ask me is for the customer I'll just select my customer from the tabbed uh, list here or if I want to add a new customer I simply click on the green plus sign and that allows me to add a new customer okay so I have Margaret Andrews selected there and I'll click OK Okay, and within a matter of uh, 10 to 15 seconds there it's it's created uh, a series of uh, reports uh, in proposal so from my design there I have a, a cover page and you'll find that you'll have your your company information down here at the bottom and if you've imported a logo uh, it would show up over in this corner okay we also had a project detail report Okay, here's the material list, and we have a plant information report for every item on our design. Okay, and then we have our quote. Okay, now you'll see here the quote is uh, what we call, this is what we call our standard report template. It has our company uh, information up here in the header. Uh, if I was to import a logo, it would show up right here. Okay, I have my customer name and some details about the quote here. And then uh, the standard report template that we're looking at shows the SKU number, the unit and size, the description, the quantity, unit price, extended price, along with the totals down here at the bottom. Now, if we were to go over here to the pricing tab, this is where we can go in and modify uh, the, uh, the pricing for this uh, quote. So if I want to change the list price, when I make a change here, it will be reflected back on the preview tab here at the top. Okay, now whenever we change pricing uh, here in this window, in the pricing tab, it's only changing the pricing for the particular quote that we're currently working on. It does not affect the pricing in the main database. Okay, now if we go over here to the properties tab at the top, and we scroll all the way down towards the bottom, you'll see here it says report template standard. We also have uh, oh, 50 or more uh, report templates to choose from. Let's say I want to select project picture without individual prices. And then I click back over to my preview tab. It reformats it, gives me the project picture here. And then if I scroll down, you'll see that it only shows the quantities and a, a subtotal down here at the bottom. So it doesn't show the individual prices for each item. Okay, I'll go back over to the preview tab and you'll see that there's uh, other, uh, many other uh, different types of styles in here. Some of them are using uh, the graphics font, some of them are using just standard fonts. Okay, so I, whenever you click on one and then click back to preview, it changes that uh, instantly uh, to the new format. Okay, and that's how we create instant customer proposal within Image Editor.